Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch King. Today we're gonna cover a brand which you maybe saw online already on Instagram or maybe you even funded their Indiegogo campaigns. We're gonna talk about the Nov watch brand and also the special Trident automatic model. Every now and then watch brands reach out to us for a collaboration or maybe to show their pieces on our channels. Not always do we agree on that and also we cancel many watch brands which we just don't fit. When I first saw the Trident model it really stick out and I also liked the combination of the dial and also the case. You'll see it in detail a bit later. This video is made in partnership with No Watches and I'm going to present you the Trident model. You can also find other models in the link in the description, buy them, check them out, follow the social media accounts and let me know in the comment section below what you think about them. For those who follow my channel since the beginning or if you even saw the latest watch reviews, you know that I like a bit more quirky watches and watches that not everybody is wearing. This one reminded me of that. When I first saw the vivid mother of pearl dial of the Trident model, the bezel which is actually open here and also super slim, I was intrigued. And to my surprise, a few weeks later, one of my buddies actually bought one here in Zurich. The company is very young, they were founded only 6 years ago in 2015 and they offered a few different models. This one is my favorite, we have the normal stainless steel version here, we have the PVD coated version here and also the blue Modena version which is a different collection. I do like divers watches, but I'm not the biggest fan of the mainstream design they usually have. I own a Zeros Hammerhead which has a bronze case and a Meteor dial and also a Tudor Bronzo which has a bronze case and a blue dial. So this would definitely fit in that category of a unusual divers watch. The quartz version they make of the Trident is actually the world's slimmest diving watch. It's water resistant up to 200 meters and the profile is actually 6.8 millimeters slim, which is incredible but also due to the quartz movement. The quartz movement in that watch isn't the only reason it's so slim. If you look at this one also and it's automatic, it's very slim because of the way the bezel is integrated. It's a unidirectional diving bezel, but also you can see the exposed three lever stoppers. And when you turn the bezel, it makes a nice click and it's also cool to observe. Usually diving bezels are caught between the case and the bezel on top of it. And here you can actually see it, how it works. If you know Greek mythology, the name Trident would sound familiar. It's basically the weapon Poseidon used to rule the seas. On that topic, we can also jump to the dial now. The dial is made of Tahitian mother of pearl. And if we compare these watches now side by side, you'll see how different they are. So on this version, it's more vibrant than on this one. But again, depends on what you like more. Tahitian mother of pearl is something also I've seen on Rolex and also Breguet watches. The hour markers are applied on the dial, feature Super Luminova as well as the seconds, hour and minute hand and you've got a date window 3 o'clock. Because it's a diver's watch, of course we have also a screw down crown here with a very distinct shape which I've never seen before. The bezel has a matte finish and the numerals are raised and polished. You can see the case has a few polished edges on the side and the bracelet is matte brush on the top and polished on the sides. You can easily also exchange the links just by pushing them in and you've also got arrows here which show you which way to push them. We've also got an exhibition case pack here which has, like the dial, a domed sapphire crystal. Powering this watch we have a Ronda R150 movement inside. It's an automatic winding movement with a 40 hour power reserve, 4 hertz and actually it's a nice workhorse movement. The ring around the sapphire case pack features a few inscriptions but otherwise it's brushed. Let me now put the watch on the wrist and show you how it fits me. This watch features a butterfly clasp and a no vlog on top of it. Again, the links is something I also really like. I like that they're brushed and not polished. It makes the watch a bit more understated. From the side, you can also admire the slim profile of it. The watch is actually 13.05 mm thick or thin in this case and slides on the cuff very easily. Or also, if you go diving with it, it wouldn't bother you that much. The diameter of the case is 46 mm and lock to lock I measured 48.5 mm. Again, just for reference, I've got an 18.1 cm wrist size. The watch sits more flat on the wrist because it has a bigger diameter and a slimmer profile, but due to the bracelet, I think even smaller wrists can wear it. If you're in the market for a stylish diver's watch and something that's not your usual diver, this one's for you. The price of the stainless steel version is 670 US dollars and all the other three options would cost you 690 US dollars. If you want to buy the quartz version, you gotta pay 330 dollars or 370 for the different versions. When you go on the Nov website, which I'm gonna link in the description as well, 
Let me know which model or which collection is your favorite. If you would go for this one, the Modena version or maybe the one I have on the wrist now. Like this video because it really helps me out a lot to grow the channel. Subscribe, share this with somebody who likes divers watches as well. Thank you for watching guys and as always, I'll see you next week.